now that we've talked about the research organizer and kind of what we're looking for in level one questions, we're actually going to start writing the questions. Now, these are going to be short videos that go through each one of the videos. Not only am I going to show you how to write the question and what kinds of questions go in each, we're also going to show you how to put them onto your Google Slideshow, or sorry, into your Google site. So here's what we're going to do. You guys, we've looked at this, uh, the research organizer. Now we're going to move on to the who and what questions. Now I'm going to leave this as an open uh, PowerPoint versus it being in a presentation so that I can move to different uh, screens. The question number one is going to be a who or what question. This is a very basic question for your topic. Okay. I've placed some examples here to the left of the different options you have. If you're doing a person, you're going to say who was, or if they're dead, you have to say who was, but if they're still alive, who is? Um, so who was Adolf Hitler? Um, if you're doing an animal, what is a bottlenose dolphin? What is football? What was World War II? Now you'll notice in each one of these that I have placed the, I have done a capital letter for my uh, the beginning. I have added in every single one of these questions is the topic that I am focused on. And you'll notice that all of them end in a question mark. So you have to make sure that's part of that. We, this is what we need to make sure we're focused on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over here to my, you guys actually within that uh, Canvas course can click on your, um, can click on the research organizer for who and what. And you'll notice that once you, once you click on it, it will make have you make a copy of this right here. And I'm going to go right here. And I always use World War II as my example. And you'll see why as we can continue to uh, move on. But that's what I'm going to use here. What was World, it helps if I can spell, World War II. Okay. Now that is as far as I'm going with this right now. I'm not trying to do keywords, citations, or notes right now. I am only writing the questions. Now that I have written this, it is time for me to move over to my project, to my website. So this is the website that we started. You'll notice that over here on the right, I've actually pulled up the pages because I'm actually going to add a page today. I'm going to add a page and it's going to be called level one questions. Okay. You'll notice that once I hit done, it's going to come up and I'm actually going to pull it under because it, the way it worked, it went under, it went above my narrowing topics, but I want them these to be in order. Home, narrowing topics, level one questions. Now, I'm not going to place all of my level one questions here. I'm going to create a sub page. Now, how to do that is do not use this down here because that'll just create another page. I'm actually going to hover on top of level one questions and a what I call the hamburger button. The three dots in a row come up and I'm going to click on it and it's going to ask me, different options here and I am going to add a sub page. Now when I add that sub page, I'm going to put my, I'm going to put who slash what question. So when I do that, I'm going to get a new one and you'll notice right there is my title. Now that I've done that and you can see it over here that it's indented. So it's a second page and you'll notice that here at the top, it actually um, created an arrow and so it'll have that. I need to add something to this page now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hit insert and I'm going to come down here to slides and you have options here. I always do the most recent because since I was working with it, I know it'll be right there. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to come down here and hit insert and look what happens. So any changes I make, it will go in here. And I can make it a little bit bigger so it's a little easier to see. How nice is that? And then what I have to do, what do we have to do every single time? I accidentally hit a divider, so I'm going to get rid of that. What do I need to do with every single time I do this? Is I need to hit publish. Now it's going to give me, it's going to show me a couple of things. First off, you'll notice it was not published before. There was no other page before. So I'm going to go ahead and hit publish. And now my website is up to date. Okay. So now that you've, you've done that, We've written our question. We've made sure the capital letters are there. The punctuation is there, that our topic is within our question. We've gone and created a new, a new set of pages, which is our new page is going to be level one questions. And then we've created a sub page and, and it's a who, what question. So next, in the next video, once you're done with this one, we're going to move on to the next level one question.